Good afternoon. This is Sinclair, aka Mr. Copit. And a lot of you have been deciding to come stream on Kick. And you want to stream on Kick and TikTok maybe, or Kick and YouTube, or Kick and Twitch. Well, today I've got a two part tutorial. I'm going to be sharing number one, how to stream to multiple sources for free using OBS Studio. And number two, how to get those chats in your actual OBS so that you don't have to have five pages open. Without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial and break it down. All right, and let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna need to your repertoire is this plugin from OBS. It is called OBS Multi RTMP. This allows you to add several different sources into your OBS and stream on them all at the same time. Now, once you've got this downloaded, I'm going to show you the next step, which is going to be implementing it. So here we go. All right. So let's look at the second page that I have open here on OBS. I've opened up a second OBS because I'm using this to record. So once you've got it enabled, you'll click on Docs and click on Multiple Output. This will allow you to be able to then add a second target. So what you're going to want to do is whatever extra streaming platform that you're going to want to stream on, may it be Kick or whatever you want your second source to be, this is going to be where you put in your stream key and your stream URL. You'll get that from the program that you're doing it from. So if you have a stream key on TikTok, you'll grab that, put that here, put in a stream key there, and boom, you're good to go. All right, so good point out I wanted to make sure you guys understood. I'm going to go ahead and put in the link to this in the bio, so just look below. Now, once you actually have got everything set up, two key parts to this. You're gonna to have to go live on your first source first before you can go live on your second source. And then once you've got that first source running, if you decide later on that you don't wanna stream on whatever that source is, so it'd be Twitch and Kick, you can just end the, start, end the stop streaming here and still be streaming to the other platform. It's important to know that you don't necessarily have to stay streaming on both at the same time. If you decide one's lagging you out more than the other, just stop stream. Boom, done. Same thing, stop stream right here. So that's important to know just so that in case you want to use this to stream on TikTok and not Twitch, for example, or Kick and not TikTok, you can set it up however you want to set it up. And then boom, you're good to go. So without further ado, let's get into the second part of this tutorial that a lot of people don't really know much about. All right, so this is what you're gonna do to get your kick chat into your OBS. You're gonna need to use LiveBot, go ahead and create an account. I'll leave the link to this in the description. Once you've got all that set up and you're logged in, it should show your username up top. If you scroll down here, there'll be a button that says overlay and then chat. You'll take that stream URL, go into your OBS. And this is the part I didn't know about that I'm about to teach you as well. So when you go to docs, there is an option for custom browser docs. This is super helpful because now you can add your kick chat into your OBS. So what you do is then take that URL you just copied from your live bot and boom, there you go. There is your kick chat and it will take it a second to load. So when someone chats, you'll have it. So what I typically do is I'm going to move this over, take this, and then boom, I have both chats now, right here simultaneously, side by side. So if someone talks and chat on Twitch, boom, got Twitch. If someone talks on Kick, boom, I got my chat there. And then, oh, what about TikTok? Well, let me introduce you to Tickfinity. This is an awesome resource for people that have stream keys or like OBS Studio, or Live Studio, I guess is what you would call it for TikTok, TikTok Studio. When you use this, you have a lot of different things that you can do with overlays, sound alerts, follow alerts, all that for TikTok. I'm not gonna get into that right now. The most important part of it is going to be the overlay gallery and getting the chat overlay gallery right here. So you'll just take that chat Overlay, overlay gallery, sorry, stumbling on my words there. Go back into your OBS, 
And same thing, docs, custom browser docs, call this TikTok, paste that in, apply, and boom. Now you have your TikTok chat. And watch me struggle to try to get this. So if I wanted to add it right here, let's just say I'm not gonna deal with trying to get this in, into, into scene right here. But now I have all three chats simultaneously. I don't have five different browsers opened up at the same time. And guess what? I can see all of them and it's all on one screen. So this is a super, super duper easy way to be able to monitor all three chats from one monitor without having to have everything open all at the same time. Seven, like five, five different sources on lag down your PC with CPU usage. Now it will pull up some CPU usage running that, but it's not nearly as many as if you have a full blown stream up looking at each chat. So this is super simple, super easy to do. And this is gonna take your streaming to a whole nother level because guess what? Now you can stream on all three platforms at the same time or four if you really wanted to. YouTube's chat's a little bit more complicated. There's, a, there's ways to get it in just like this using the same thing with the dock. So don't let that discourage you from going live on YouTube at the same time as well. But this will take you to a whole nother level because now you can stream on Kick, Twitch, and TikTok all at the same time if you have a stream key on TikTok as well. Good. Let me make sure I rephrase that. You cannot stream computer PC version unless you have a stream key or TikTok studio. So with that being said, this should help you go a long ways. Kick is a brand new platform, so you may not want to just stream solely on Kick right now and stream on your main, that's completely fine. So if you have found this tutorial helpful, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And not only that, if you want more tips or specific videos on certain things that you're not quite understanding, please let me know. Now, there has been a lot of questions about LiveBot I've seen in my videos. I just wanna call something out real quick. LiveBot works for some people and it doesn't for others. You need to have the Chrome extension for LiveBot so that when you use your follow alerts, it pops up and it's, you can see it on your screen. That's the most important part. The code part, I just had to use a different browser until it worked. That's the, that's the part you're just gonna have to figure out. You're gonna have to mess with it and get it to work and then eventually it will work. So. There's some of those questions I can answer, some of them I can't. If you really have a struggle, message LiveBot. They're the best people to get a hold of that can help you troubleshoot. I only have basic information about it. I'm not the LiveBot expert. I don't work for LiveBot. So please keep those questions. If you do have them to LiveBot directly, I'll do my best to help, but there's certain things I just can't answer. Well, with that being said, thank you for tuning into this tutorial. I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Like always, see you on Kick.